All right, so we're going to level up. All right, level up Diego. And so we get to take the strongest champ, uh, the strongest enemy. Dude, this is messed up. This is messed up. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Merciless Viego. Going to be our very first Sentinels of Light deck. We're going to be playing Viego. I really think this card is going to be pretty good. So trying it out here, I was going to kind of make like Viego Nasus, but then kind of decided uh, to have one Thresh in instead of the third Nasus. So so then it, I didn't really want to call it Viego Nasus because we have a Thresh in here also. So um you know, like, then we had, like, Sharima, you know, could call it, like, Sharima Viego, but I'm going to go with Merciless Viego, because that sounds pretty sweet, and it's from Merciless Hunter is, like, our main Sharima card, so uh, it's basically all Shadow Isle stuff, this is going to be similar to old Thresh Nasus, but we got new Treasure Seeker in here, this card's amazing, and now we're going to have this Camivoran Soldier, I'm pretty high on this Camivoran Soldier, the Viego, and the Invasive Hydravine, all creating encroaching mists. And so as you can see, I got three invasive hydra vines in here. It's first day, you know, like this is a very first games with Viego. I want to try out three of these and, you know, so you can get a better feel for it. That's something that's good to do whenever you're trying out new cards. Um, just throw three of them in your deck and kind of try it out and see, you know, so therefore you'll be able to draw it more and you'll be able to have a better um, understanding. Good chance it should only be like a one or a two of because it is a seven mana card. And we already have kind of a high curve with like Viego costing five, Nasus costing six, Hydrovine costing seven. Um, so, you know, maybe it shouldn't be a three of, but I want to really try it out. And I think it could be pretty amazing every single round start getting this encroaching mist. Um, yeah, that sounds awesome. And so if you don't know about these encroaching mists, these, you know, because this is a brand new card, but basically um, it's a one, one it starts with, but whenever it's summoned, you grant all Viegos and other encroaching mist everywhere plus one plus one so your first one's a one one the next one's a two two the next one you get is a three three and so on and each time that you you buff up each time you play an encroaching mist and you buff it up then you're also permanently buffing up every viego you have everywhere and so viego is just going to continue to grow and be super big like nasus who's also going to continue to grow and be super big and so uh yeah those should work very well together so let's give this a try. Let's see how we do with Merciless Viego. We're going to go play five games in ranked. All right, we're going to be starting off against Karma Lee Sin for our first game. We'll just send the seven mana cards back, keep one and two. Pretty easy mulligan decisions. Gotta like when you have the easy mulligan decisions. Let's go with the Treasure Seeker round one. Hits harder. And I am going to attack immediately because with this deck I'm I'm you know, I don't I the dragon. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's the card that I don't want them to play immediately. Um and I'm gonna go with the Warden's Prey. As a blocker. Yeah, so we got some you know, new champion. We got a new skin here with Thresh. And there's a lot of other champions that have some new skins. And uh, we did... Th this should be a second Eye of the Dragon. Uh, which... Act no, I'm not going to counter it. I was like, going to say, like, that's honestly not a bad thing to counter. But I'm not going to do that. All right, I want to get this encroaching mist in here. And I will save Ravenous Butcher to kill Curse Keeper after we play Viego. Um, I'll just do this. I don't want to. I don't want to pump spell block with those things. I don't really want to risk it. Cool. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, so I was talking about with the cosmetics. So the cosmetics are, are pretty expensive in this game. 
and uh, we were talking about this on stream yesterday, and okay, they're going to have all three other Eye of the Dragons. And so what we decided to do, because they are pretty expensive, is I'm having a cosmetics donation goal. You can see that right down here. So far, we've had from yesterday to today, people have donated $25 towards all these cosmetics on stream. And so if you're watching later on YouTube and you'd be interested in donating as well, there's a donation link in the uh, info of the video. I guess I can just play that and then sacrifice it. Submission or death for all who leave. No. All right, well, I wanted to... Wanted to do that and kill it to, to then put in an encroaching mists. Um, yeah. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Double Black Spear, I like that. So I have the ability to... First, we'll kill this. Draw two. Make an Encroaching Miss. Permanent Buff Viego. And now I have the mana for both Black Spears to try to kill Karma. Hope so with the donation deck for Kadragrin Shadow Dragons. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, that's still going to return everything? Alright, so everything gets returned either way. Or, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so the... So just the Spirit Leech is getting burned. That's fine. So the open attack puts them to three. I don't know if there's really a reason why I shouldn't just, you know, go like Waking Sand, like because I can go like Viego, Waking Sands, and Treasure Seeker. I think I think I'll play more stuff out. Oh right, I could have ride negation to that. <laughs> Oh man, too, too much stuff. Too much stuff going on right away. Too much stuff that I'm thinking about. We love it when they run. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? Not exactly. That's right. Run! So they block those two, take seven. Block those, take eight. Okay. You cannot win. I see every move. Ready yourself. Yeah, right negation on that thing probably would have uh, <laughs> probably would have done some good work. Okay. So could have already won this game. 
but we're not in the worst spot still. Hello. 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 The whole world will know my language. I want to block to grow Viego. They're definitely incentivized to, to, to try to play two spells if they weren't able to. Do not have the ability to play the in, uh, invasive Hydra Vine. And also. I do want to kill this 01. I do just want this 01 out of here. I can see having the, you know, having my Curse Keeper challenge the Eye of the Dragon, put a little bit more pressure on them. But, don't have the, yeah, can't play the Hydra Vine and have Riot Negation available. Spell cascades have been pretty nice. Surrender to me. Yeah, I could have had the could have had the, like I wanted to put the tasty faithful last, but I could have had this be like the second to last thing. All right, I can level up my Viego, not too. Difficultly. But let's see. Each round, first time you hit die, summon an encroaching miss. Round start, steal the strongest enemy in this round. If it's a champion, kill it instead. Okay, so that is pretty good. You got to assume that they're going to have deny, though. Pretty sure. Yeah, if 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 we yeah if we spear a journey, then yes, then then it would level up. By spirit journey, but definitely assume they have deny. Ooh, yeah, but yeah. So I could I could have used the spirit journey to level up for sure. If if it would have worked and no deny and stuff like that. Hey Jorge, games are going good. First time playing Viego, really kind of trying it out, seeing seeing what it's like. My opponent has drawn a million cards, thanks to Karma. So they've played all three Pale Cascades. They're letting my Viego level up. Dude, that is a sweet animation. So round start, steal the strongest enemy. I don't I don't know much, but that sounds incredibly good. And 
And so this is round star gonna you know make encroaching this every single round. So that means we're gonna be getting like you know free eight eights <laughs> every you know free eight eight next round, then free nine nine, then free ten ten, and so on. These things are so big. Ooh, they're creating two moon weapons? Right now they don't have the mana to play either moon weapon. Does that give them ten cards now? Or... Oh, okay, because they're going to discard one. I see, they are looking for... Um, Equinox. Thresh going to be good. They hit. Wow. So we'll kill Karma, round start. Karma is the strongest. And then since... Now we get two encroaching mists, because then we see something die, so then we get an encroaching mist, and then this thing's an encroaching mist. And these are fearsome. Let's have let's see. Let's have these things attack for Let's challenge over here. Yeah. What are you? I I could be punished here. Hydrovine, Viego, these may be, like, things that should be just back row. And I just, you know, like, I should maybe just be, like... Okay. Oh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Alright, so they're at seven. I can keep those, like, just back row. Hey, Randani. Well, this isn't necessarily good if they get the 9 mana double obliterate. That's kind of what they need. I mean, I guess I had Spirit Journey, though, for that. Dang, man, this is crazy. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna take that next round. That sounds cool. So I guess I can't play anything. Okay, I was wondering if, if that was gonna do that. So yeah, so like round end that dies, so then get the encroaching mist. Oh, you only take it for the round? You don't take it for all time? You don't get okay, you only gain control over for one round. Alright, but yeah, thanks. Thanks for this immortal fire. Appreciate you, pal. All right, there we go. 12-12 encroaching miss. And then I guess the first one dies, then another one comes into play, so grows that one. Dang, Viego looking good. All right, first game. GG's. Without her, there is only darkness. Pretty cool. All right, Jarvan Chen. I think this deck's real good right now. We've talked about how, of course, before this new expansion, the new expansion can shake up the metagame, but before the new expansion, I talked about how I think Jarvan was really well positioned against the Sivir Ruin Runner decks that were, like, they're hard to kill the Spell Shield units, but Jarvan comes into play, challenging them, has the barrier. So. <laughs> wow, we are really merciless this game. Yeah, the new Absolver combat trick has looked really good with, or like, it's looking really good with, um, with Sivir. I'm going to save this Waking Sands for Shen, so that I can, I can give Shen vulnerable and then attack for five. River shake the land and give it life. Right, 
So forcing them to play their combat spells immediately. Yeah, Screeching Dragon's not great for me. Discipline of Fortitude. How big are you, Nasus? 5-5? Five, five? Do I want to lead with 5-5 five, five Nasus next round? It's not the largest champion ever next round. But I kind of feel like if they are... Mm, no, maybe I should just go with Curse Keeper. Yeah, I should probably just go with Curse Keeper. They weren't expecting callers! I was gonna say like if they you know use a good amount of resources to take out the Nasus, maybe that's gonna help my Hydrovine. block on the spiders. Unfortunately, couldn't play the Waking Sands and keep Black Spear available. Have the Hydrovine. Um, just kind of keep doing its thing. Thresh will be here watching things die. And I like that they're not using any man, you know, like they're using, like they have all their mana and protection stuff. I th Do I just pass? No, passing doesn't make any sense. I wouldn't mind, you know, deny or no buy if they were in. They were thinking about using one of those. I wouldn't mind that right there at all. I created waking sands that I don't care about was able to trade with a very valuable lifesteal barrier card so I'm happy about that so it does make the screeching dragon oh no now they have Shen also all right well they have oh, I should play this warden right but they have the triumvirate in their deck the three scariest cards Shen screeching dragon Jarvan both champs. And I got, I got some champs over here too. Not my Viego though. Hmm. I don't want this Jarvan leveling up. Yeah, I, I can't stop leveled up Jarvan. If they are, if they have any anything here like a denier, or nopify, or something, I'm in tons of trouble. All right, well, looks like they win. Jarvan's awesome. 
Really well positioned right now. Levels up super fast. With only needing three. And then it once it levels up. Um, making the Cataclysm each round is really hard to beat. So I'm going to have to just play Nasus. And open attack, I guess. Because I can't... I can't sit back anymore with them getting free, just kill your best thing every single round. We got this. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. This game's over. With me. If only mortals were not driven by avarice and hatred, they will learn just as we did. I don't have a better option. Alright, cool. Challenge the wrong thing. Probably doesn't matter, but uh, the the 7-6 is certainly a lot more valuable than, than that Nasus was. But, you know, probably won't matter. They probably just have more protection and everything over here, and they're going to keep the Jarvan alive. And... Good deck opponent. GG's. So we're only seeing the power of twin disciplines in these games being two mana. Lots of buffs to that deck. Alright, well this is not going to be a short game also. <laughs> uh, let's, see, uh, let's see some more twin disciplines. And let's get ready for a long game again. Now the they're gonna have three Ezreal, two Karma, one Heimer. Ezreal, uh, we want to have a decent plan for Ezreal. So I like the Merciless Hunter, and I I like these spells, but not for like a long time, not till the late game. I think I'm gonna just send them both back. Maybe have them early, having other stuff early, or not have other stuff early. You know, either one. Sand Spinner can be good against Ezreal. The minus one, minus zero. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Can you improve perfection? I am the future. We love it when they run. The spirit gives to those who listen. Try to take out these two drops. So yeah, they can save the ballistic bot with a mystic shot. I'd rather them. Yeah, I'd rather. Like they want to save Eye of the Dragon, right? Like I'd rather kill Eye of the Dragon. And so I was kind of letting that happen. Alright, so far so good. So pick a unit to strike your nexus, then kill it. This is... Better than I thought. I thought this was like talking about like your own allies at first and thought it was kind of weird, but so you, you can do this with any enemy as well. So four mana, just kill any enemy. And they're doing this mystic shot here, so it's their second spell, so they get a draggling. Up 
I don't really care if they heal their Nexus for two. I mean, I'd, it's going to be about the late game. It's going to be about killing a whole bunch of stuff. I see every move. You will serve. Certainly considering using Viego's spell here on the Eye of the Dragon. No, I should probably keep it for the champion, shouldn't I? Probably. What is gained when you return malevolence? The dragon lives. Quit struggling! So we'll see if they got Will of Ionia. If they don't, Viego's leveling up. Leveled up Viego? Viego gets so big. It's like, what's their plan? Like, what it, Like, what can they even do against Viego? Is that just Will of Ionia? Yeah, but they gotta kill this Hydra Vine. That makes sense. They're going after the Hydra Vine. Because that Hydra Vine is going to be crazy. Oh, that seems pretty fair. Oh, Viego should be last. But, oh well. Okay, um, let's do this. It forces them to just play another interaction spell, which they probably have, but it forces them to play it. Oh, they do not? Wow. Even more encroaching this. <laughs> so many encroaching this. Dang. Ezreal can kill me. I regret not keeping this Viego's Despair available. So yeah, Ezreal can kill me. Yeah, board's clickable. Get these things. I wish I could give this thing minus two, minus zero. I'm really worried about my Nexus, right? Like, if I try to go Despair, I am really worried about my Nexus. Yeah, I'm... I'm pretty worried about that. I guess now I can... No, keep the four mana available. Now I can just replace this. That's good. Okay, that's good. Now, despair. I only take one. I was scared of that. Okay, so if you have a full board and you try to you you steal their their largest thing, it just goes away completely. Alright, I should really do this guy later. Um, I 
No, I mean, I just want to go with the Fearsome first. I wish you still had Fearsome. This is why Ezreal is crazy, man. Ezreal will just kill you so fast. Yeah. Not much to do about that. Just too many units. Not enough spells. Only had a couple. But I guess that's the problem with the whole Despair card, though. You know, they use twin, di like, twin disciplines being so versatile. Okay, so we're going to change up just a very slight little bit of our deck. We've kind of had too many units in our deck, right? Not enough spells. Um, and I'm only actually adding in one spell, um, but I'm getting rid of the two Curse Keepers and playing a, a third Fading I Icon instead. I've been happy with the Fading Icon because the Curse Keeper, you know, you like have to try to kill it. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to, you know, you only get the 4-2 now. I'm going to uh, replace the Curse Keeper. And then the other spell I'm going to play actually is going to be a Quicksand. I think this is a really underrated card these days. Um, you know, as far as like removal goes, it's it's great in combat, right? And if we have like a whole bunch of like kind of larger units, like especially our Crouching Shadows, but like our like we've seen like our Viega, our Hydrovine, we're kind of scared to get into combat with Viego Hydrovine. I think that'd be really nice to have something to help protect them, so we can attack with them more often than and then you know have a uh, a really good spell to help protect them like that. So I'm gonna play Quicksand. I think Quicksand's pretty underrated. All right, let's try let's try this out. But they just had too many Mystic Shots and get excited to go along with Ezreal. Okay, let's see what we got. So we're playing against some aggro. Mm. The thing is, is like this is a good hand, but against aggro, we gotta have things earlier. I do like Black Spear though, right? Because it's like three mana kill Misfortune. Misfortune is really important to kill. And I guess, okay, so they're gonna be a, a mostly Gangplank deck, huh? How about that? So three Gangplank, two Misfortune, one Twisted Fate. Yeah, you can give units Overwhelm in, in Shurimo with like different lucky finds and stuff. Um, that is an option. Keep them from attacking for a round. Steady now. It doesn't even say what it's targeting. All right, we're good. Make it rain upon it. No one's the wiser. Oh man, oh, they could make it rain. Of damage. The good news is they're down to two cards. Like that's the good news. Ooh, Thresh. Okay, so I could go Viego or Thresh. I think I like V. All right, so so Thresh. You know, like we can level up Thresh a little bit. Like you know, attack, block. We can challenge. Oh, maybe maybe it's just Thresh. Okay, so assuming they, if they play Gangplank, I'd rather have Viego. Anything else, I'd probably rather have Thresh. Even against Gangplank, Thresh isn't bad. Let's see, so they're at 2 out of 5. We'll go Viego, though.
Okay, I was gonna say they could kill Diego with uh, Fervor plus blocking with Sprayfin, but then I re remember Diego has Fearsome, so that's not the case. Really would have liked to play two things right here. Two blockers. That would have been much better. This is gonna be close. This is going to be close. No. Okay. All right. So sack the thrash to get the encroaching shadows in, and therefore gives the plus one plus one to Viego. We're down to three. They got a spell that does Nexus damage, I lose. You know, Fervor Decimate. Wow. That's why you play one Twisted Fate, I guess. So my plan, of course, was to play the Spirit Leech, which would grow the Viego and... Why would you not just... All right, so way too much of our top end, obviously, as you can tell. We are in Shadow Isle, so we can definitely get more Nexus healing than what we have, right? Like this is this is the first day, first thing trying this deck, you know, trying Viego, and you know, like we're playing against a lot of decks that that are tried and true that have you know been out for a long time. We we have to you know still kind of figure it out, figure out exactly how to um, exactly what to do with Viego. Valfeast, you would have been so helpful last game. The cards are kind of lined up for the opponent right now. This would have been a great card to have early on also. Remember how we didn't have anything early. Like we had to play the Waking Sands on round two last game. Yeah, just attack for three. All right, cool. The two-man interaction is gone. Maokai, we got Merciless Hunter. The Blessed Isles live through me. I would like to play Viego first, but we need to open attack so they don't get to get the sapling. We're making it look like we're attacking for a lot more than what we are. That's perfectly fine. So they get the two for one. I do this for her, for us. I kind of want to play this Waking Sands. I just play it, it dies, that's five power worth of dying, but then we get the Encroaching Mist, so that, that's six power. I guess I'll just pass, I don't know. Stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. Vessels 
Glad we have our two mana still. Alright, second Bone Skewer. Gone. How far away are we? No, that is not worth attacking with. Okay. That means no um, Devour Adepts this round, so I'm happy about that. All right, time for the Encroaching Shadow party. Keep on making these things. Encroaching this. The Nazis hasn't been nearly as good in, the, in our deck. Maybe more Thresh. Thresh has looked okay. I don't know, the Nazis hasn't. It's been expensive, right? Terror of the Tines. It's pretty easy for them to kill a Spiderling in response. Cool. Alright, so we're going to level up. Ooh, that could be useful. Alright, level up Viego. And so we get to take the strongest champ, uh, the strongest enemy. Dude, this is messed up. This is messed up. And that thing has, <laughs> that thing has fearsome also. Give them all minus two, minus zero. The Viego is crazy. We grow wiser with each victory. So there we go. That's Merciless Viego, our very first Viego deck, trying it out and just kind of seeing what it's like. And I, I was pretty impressed with the Viego, honestly. And, and same with like the Hydrovine making those encroaching miss each round. So Viego, Hydrovine, um, the Camivoran Soldier. Like I was saying, like those encroaching miss are crazy. They are so large. And, uh, you know, when it, whenever you have your units die each round, uh, you know, your first one, you're putting in, it in another encroaching miss. And that levels up Viego really fast, as we saw. Um, you know, they can level up super fast, especially like, you know, with this uh, five two ephemeral that you're making like that's a great attacker plus it's you know five power thing dying for leveling up your viego that treasure seeker is perfect in here um yeah like that part is awesome i was kind of disappointed with with nasus in this deck we weren't technically slaying lots and lots of things um and so you know our nasus was usually like a five five or a six six but you know not that great and because hydrovine is so expensive at seven i i kind of want another champion that's not five mana, that's less. As you see, like four mana, I don't really have anything. I got just Spirit Leech and a Sand Spinner, and Sand Spinner was perfectly fine, but, um, you know, we got these good things at three, you know, two, we got, you know, you, you have options at two and one. I kind of want, like four mana seems like a good spot for your other champion, and uh, so maybe, like, that's where your Sivir comes in, that you should just be playing with that. I really wish, like, like Thresh, Kindred, like these, these, Champions, both Thresh and Kindred, are perfect in here, but I wish they just didn't also cost five, like how Viego costs five. Um, Hecarim is another option we were talking about, uh, the maybe Hecarim over Nasus, uh, because you do have the Ephemeral allies with your Encroaching Miss. Each each Encroaching Miss you make is an Ephemeral ally um, to help level up Hecarim, but then even just if Hecarim attacks, you know you get those two two twos that are attacking also, and then those things. Uh, go towards your Viego uh, with things dying, and you know that, that can be a lot of power of stuff dying. So I could definitely see replacing Nasus with Hecarim. It's and Hecarim, you know, has that overwhelm. Uh, it's difficult to kill with the five six body. It's a scary card to see on the other side of the board, and you can really put a lot of pressure on the opponent attacking with Hecarim. So I could definitely see just kind of even go with the same deck and playing playing some Hecarims. I don't know. You get a lot of options. There's not like you know Nasus. Hecarim, Thresh, 
Even Renekton, if you want to play some more vulnerable stuff, play more Sharima vulnerable. It's kind of the same with Sivir. You got Kindred. You got, um, you know, you got Callista. You can play Callista in here and try to level up Callista. And, uh, you know, maybe, I don't, I guess Encroaching Mist, I think, would still stay 1-1. One -one. So I don't know if Callista would put in Encroaching Mist as well. But Callista does have that good champion spell. Um, yeah, you got lots and lots of options. Anyway, uh, the other thing is we were kind of not having, because we're a slower deck, we're not, okay, if you think about Thresh Nasus, Thresh Nasus could be really aggressive, and they were um, a deck that would go wide and be aggressive, and then they would have their two champions, Thresh and Nasus, to finish the game. This is more of a, you're playing more of a slower, slow down control style deck when you're playing Viego, so we're not going to be as aggressive, like we're not playing Bakai Sandspinner and stuff like that. And so, since we're playing towards a longer game, you do need your spells to interact. And we kind of saw that in some of those losses, we just didn't have the spells to interact with the champions. I liked, you know, adding in the quicksand in there, but that's that's another thing of, like, figuring out, you know, exactly which spells should we be playing and how many. Like, that's going to take some time. All right, but that's good. that's it here for Merciless Viego. Really cool um, Viego deck to start the day. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what are you doing with Viego? What kind of decks, what kind of Viego decks do you want to see on stream? We're gonna, you know, definitely play some more Viego decks in the upcoming days. So let me know what you want to see paired with Viego. But that's gonna be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.